Thanks, Ka Philippe, for the new year in the European Parliament. Everything is about the new president of the Parliament. So the elections will take place in a few days. Who will be the next president of the European Parliament, Ska? Yeah, that's a good question because for the first time in I don't know how long, it's really an open question. It's really an open race. It's not clear who is going to win. So the Greens EFA group has its own candidate, yep. Jean Lambert. So who is this Jean Lambert and why should she be the next president of the European Parliament? Well, Jean is a very experienced uh, Europe member of the European Parliament from the United Kingdom. And it's not by chance that we selected her. First, of course, she has a, a lot of experience. She's a committed European. Uh, and, well, she's a bright example that, no, not everyone in the United Kingdom uh, despises Europe. Uh, no, she's totally invested in this, and that's also a signal. By the way, if you come to think of it, uh, the European Parliament has been elected for the first time directly in 1979. How many women did, did we have as presidents of the European Parliament so far? Two. Two French ladies, Nicole Fontaine and Simone Veil, actually in the other order. It's about high time that we have another woman. Now, what do I see? Is that the grand coalition of Christian Democrats, Social Democrats, Liberals apparently broke apart. Uh, and what do they propose? Three men. So, but if, uh, if ever Jean doesn't win, what is about the other candidates? I mean, you have seen them in the group. What was your impression? So whom could you perhaps support or do you know already? Well, no one can, of course, uh, match with Jean at all. But indeed, we have invited all the candidates and we have had a fair hearing with all of them. And I don't know about you, Philippe, but I have to say I wasn't really impressed by any of them um, because uh, you get a lot of... We had a lot of talks about the Grand Coalition uh, issue um, where, you know, people are promising, oh, now it's going to be different, but then why hasn't it been different in the past two and a half years? Yeah. And what sort of promises should we actually believe? And what is important for you? I mean, the next president, what should he or she fight for? What is important for a president of the European Parliament? Yeah, well, what I really want to see is a change in the way this parliament functions. And that normally should be, well, could be delivered by a new parliament. Are we willing to have much more transparency? Uh, uh, and especially in terms of influence of lobbies, you can speak about this register, uh, this mandatory register for lobbies. But even more interesting would be what we call the legislative footprint, where basically we force all lobbies to make public all the documents, all the texts that they pass to us. And so you can trace them up until the point they get into legislation if they do. And so you can see the real source. And of course, the more opacity, the easier it is to push things into legislation. Once it, become, uh, it becomes transparent, it's much more difficult. A new president of parliament could, uh, 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 could help us passing some, well, highly needed reforms. I'd like to have a president of parliament who is above all this and is able to restore, how should I say, the, uh, the decency of the functioning of this parliament. Thank you.